Hi, I'm Ruben. Today's topic is gas sniffers. Now, I should probably say combustible gas detectors, but I'm not going to. I call them gas sniffers. I've got three of them here that I'm going to demonstrate. First one is the TIFF 8800X. I've had this one for about a month now. I've had a chance to play around with it for a little bit. Uh, next one is going to be the TIFF 8900. I've had this one for about a year. This has served me well for quite a while. And then finally, I've got a brand new rigid CD100. And I'm going to test each one of these. I took a wrench and I loosened up the gas pipe and go into my water heater. And I, I did that to create a little gas leak. And I'm going to use one of these on each one of that. Um, I'm going to use one of these on that leak one at a time. The TIFF 8900 has five sensitivity settings. You've got two up here that aren't very sensitive at all. I'm not sure why you would use those. And then you've got the middle setting, which seems to be just right for everything. And then you've got two more that just scream. Um, where, where, wherever I am, even if I'm outside and I set it to the more sensitive settings, it just, it basically screams. So I don't know what you would ever use those for, but uh, there they are. It's got, it's got a few of them. So I'm going to come on over to this known gas leak. I need this leak and I'm going to find it using my gas sniffer. There we are. Do that again. And one more time. One more just for fun. There. Okay, very good. Next, we've got the TIFF 8900. Now, on the 8800, when you turn that on, you basically, you just turn it on, you let this dial stay right where it is, and you start sniffing. On the 8900, you turn it on, it's got to warm up, and then you got to take this dial, and you got to adjust it until it starts ticking a little bit faster, and then you drop it back down. And you kind of... Get it as close to a faster tick as you can, but you still want a slow tick. That tells you you're about at the right sensitivity level. So we'll come on over here. We'll check this leak again. It's loud, isn't it? Okay, that's the 8900, and then finally we've got the Rigid, and the Rigid, I find this one takes more time than the other ones to warm up. Okay, it warmed up, and now we will go find our gas leak here. There we go, found it. Do that again. There. And then I'm just going to do a little comparison. So we both kind of found it at the same time. If you read the screen, the TIFF made a lot of noise. The rigid just kind of lit up a little bit. Yeah. So that concludes my little test.